كل نفس ذائقة الموت وإنما توفون أجوركم يوم القيامة فمن زحزح عن النار وأدخل الجنة فقد فاز وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور. Brothers and sisters, longevity, living for a long time, living forever, looking for the fountain of youth. Sooner or later, science will crack the code and people would not die anymore. Sounds familiar? That's what some people are saying these days. But listen to what the one that created the heavens and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Every soul shall taste death and you will receive your full reward on the day of judgment. So whoever is spared from the hellfire and is admitted into paradise will indeed triumph, whereas the life of this world is nothing but chattels of vanity. Death is inevitable. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be delayed. It cannot be avoided. And no one will escape it. And whether death will happen or not is not the issue. What really matters is, did the person live upon Islam? And if so, was he a good Muslim? Did the person die upon the true Tawheed? Did they die as far away from Shirk? Did the person die in a place and a situation far away from the disobedience of Allah? So if all of these important components were fulfilled, being a good Muslim, dying upon Islam, dying upon the obedience of Allah, doesn't the believer deserve a suitable burial place? Indeed, he does. Given a Muslim a proper burial in a cemetery for Muslims is a fard kifaya, meaning a community obligation, a collective duty. If some take care of it, the rest will not be responsible for it. However, if nobody does it, then the whole community gets the burden and the sin. In predominantly Muslim countries, having a proper burial place for Muslims is a normal thing. It is no issue. But in other areas of the world, it becomes a serious issue if the communities don't step up and help each other acquire a cemetery or a burial area specifically for Muslims. The Islamic Society of Pinellas County is trying to do just that. We are trying to purchase a local burial place for our community. And so I call for the Muslims from different areas of the country and different areas of the world to help your brothers and sisters from the Islamic Society of Pinellas County in Florida, I call upon you to participate in this ongoing charity. A small donation from many of you will go a long way in making this possible. The opportunity is knocking on your door, a chance to collect many good deeds. To please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you never know this might be the deed that will help you the most when your hour comes. So do not waste it. May Allah give you and I a good ending. Click on the button where it says donate and give what you can. Jazakumullahu khayran.